Hai Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And salam sejahtera My name is Muhammad Yazid An instrument engineer from VC Sendiran Berhad In this video, I will show you on how to use JKI JSON in LabVIEW Firstly, open the VI Package Manager. In this VI Package Manager, we're gonna download the JKI JSON Toolkit that we're gonna use in the lab view. Make sure you have the right lab view version, which is I'm using the lab view 2019. So for the search query click all and at the search bar search for jki json here we find the jki json and click install package the toolkit will gonna take some time to download the package as we can see here so just wait for a while Okay, so we are done with the toolkit installation. If you double click this JKI JSON, here we can see it's already installed and we can show it in the palettes in lab view. So the JKI JSON is already in my lab view. The JKI JSON also can be found in the function palette inside the JKI tools. Here I'm going to show you on how to flatten to JSON string. Okay, first I'm going to take out the flatten to JSON string node. And then the cluster constant. I want to flatten uh, several types of uh, JSON data types which is numeric and also string okay make sure to vis visible the label as we all know JSON data format has a label on it this example will label it as temperature for the string I will label it as status I'm gonna put these two variable inside the cluster constant Make it auto sizing to arrange vertically. And then I will wire it to the this variant input. Okay, let's see what is the result of the JSON string. Here we got the temperature and also status in the JSON string format. Let's see what if I put some values here. For the 75 and for the status, until I will write it normal. So I've run it and here are the result of the JSON string. I can also 
unflatten the JSON string back to the left view data type. Here I will use the unflatten from JSON string. Why it here? for the cluster constant I will wire it directly for the variant I will have to change it to variant to data just search control space press control space and search variant to data And we have to we will have to define the type of the of the JSON string result. Then we can change it to here. Create indicator. So if I uh, if I run it, I will get the temperature and also status back into lab view data type. Also I can unbundle it. If I want the specific data, which is temperature in numeric, status in string. So if I run it, yeah, we'll get the status and the temperature respectively. Okay. I've already shown you on the example on how to use JSON in lab view. Now I'm gonna show you on how to use the REST client in the lab view. First we open the VI package manager, then we search the REST client, just type REST, and then we found the JKI HTTP REST client click install package click yes and it will take some time to download and install the package inside the lab view ok so we have finished install the JKI HTTP REST client set so here you can show in the pellets here inside my lab view I already got the HTTP REST client toolkit this HTTP REST client toolkit also can be found in the JKI tools inside the group of HTTP REST client without wasting our time I will show you uh, some example and how to get uh, a query from the from the server in this example i will use the my json server demo to obtain some of the data inside this database i will use the profile object here we can see the JSON data. How I will do it? I will open the new VI. I will create a HTTP REST client get and also destroy. This is the basic things that we will need in order to obtain the data from this uh, my json server ok I will need to take out the url copy it and create a constant here on the base url paste it for the def default headers this is the default header for this example content type and also application slash json 
wait and for the path that we will get the data is the profile so we take out the the last URL section which is the profile and then we create a indicator on the response body so let's find out what is the result of the response body I will run it and I already have the response body obtained from this server now I will unflatten it back to the lab view data type by using the JKI tools JKI JSON I will choose the unflatten from JSON string on JSON string I will take from the response body of the HTTP get the types and default I will have to declare it using cluster constant and the string because the data type here is in string I will choose string constant label it the label name is written as name make the auto sizing with the type and default then I will go to quick drop which, uh, which you can press the control space button search for variant to data it and the for the type is the name and just create indicator on the output and I want to unbundle it to a single string Now I will run it. Here I will, I already get the response body, the data inside the cluster. Also, I have unbundled it into the single string. So that's all for my tutorial video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, also please visit our Facebook page at Virtual Instrument and System Innovation. If you have any inquiry, do email us at info at vc.com.my. Stay tuned for our next video. Thank you and bye bye.